It's a boy and a girl. <laughs> Salisbury Zoo has welcomed two new members to its sloth family, two baby sloths born in July. And now that they're getting a little bit older, we're getting a little bit better look at them. Yeah, and as you can imagine, the mamas are a bit protective. And we're here with two people who have one of the best jobs <laughs> in the world. Brinkley Rain and Kate Holloway are both Slot keepers, if you will, sloth keepers, if you will, uh, for the Salisbury Zoo. Thank you for being here this afternoon. <laughs> this is really an exciting time for the Salisbury Zoo with two births. It's a it's a first for us to have two. Usually we've just had one baby a year in the past, and so now we have two. Now you got two. Does that so? Does that double the effort? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it takes it takes more for two. Okay. So uh, we understand mom's a little bit protective. They are, they, the way they uh, wrap themselves around the babies, you know, it is hard to see them because moms mm -hmm. are hanging upside down and babies right here, they're all protected. Right yeah. 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 Right now, Kate, you guys did have to like hand key, I mean, hand feed them and things like that. We did with one of the sloths, the male Pierre. Um, keepers noticed the first day he was born, he wasn't quite on mom the way he's supposed to be. Uh, tried repositioning him by the second day. Um, he had actually fallen to the ground and the mom was not responding to him, not taking care of him. So we did actually pull him and ended up hand raising him for at least the few, first few weeks of his life. So in the, out in the wild, that wouldn't turn out so well. No, <laughs> no, definitely not. He wouldn't have made it in the wild for sure. So is that something that normally happens? I mean, I, I, I don't know how to phrase this. Does a sloth <laughs> usually have only one or is there two? Well, they were actually, they're born to two separate moms. Okay. So they, they normally only have one. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, but they, they, they aren't twins. They were born to two separate moms. Gotcha. Oh, okay. So tell us a little bit more. I mean, you know, we know sloths are slow. <laughs> I mean, and that's pretty much all I know about them. Tell us uh, what, about sloths for people who don't know. Uh, sloths are a nocturnal species, which is why people don't often see them at the zoo. They come out at night, we'll come in in the morning, especially if it's rained and they're all inside sleeping, but they're wet, so you know they were outside all night <laughs> uh -huh. in the rain. Um, they mostly eat leaves, which makes them uh, foolivores, I think is what it's called. It's <laughs> an herbivore that eats all leaves in the wild, mm. but at the zoo they eat produce as well. They really like uh, squash. Yeah, <laughs> and you were saying their claws are pretty sharp. They do have pretty significant claws. That's how they climb up and down trees and hang on to branches, and they spend most of their lives uh, in trees and hanging on to, to branches, so they have to have some pretty substantial claws to be able to hold on. I'm assuming that wouldn't apply to the babies as well. Do you have to wear or do anything special <laughs> to actually handle them? When we were um, hand-raising the male Pierre, and we were actually, he was with us 24-7, strapped to our chest. Oh, wow. <gasps> yeah, those, those little claws come up and get you in the <laughs> neck sometimes. <laughs> oh, my So goodness. you were kind of a mama sloth <laughs> yeah. for a while. That's kind of cool. I think I'd like that. I bet you've been there's called a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is after a sleepless night yeah, uh, feeding him oh, every two hours. Oh, you've got to be up all night. That's right. So are, can we see them yet? They, they are out on exhibit now, so like most of our animals at the zoo, they have the option to be out on the exhibit or in a, a back area. Um, being nocturnal, they do spend a lot of their time during the day in the back area, right. but we have had a, several lucky visitors get to see them, so they have access outside So now. it's their call. It's their yep. choice. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. All right. Brittany Rain and Kate Holloway, thank you thank both you. for coming <laughs> in. Wonderful get some rest. <laughs> <laughs> Be a mom. It's tiring. It's tough. <laughs>